In this video, we're going to be showing how to create an automatic sequence diagram using a simulation configuration diagram. And our system of interest that we'll be looking at is the oscillating fan, which we have an oscill oscillating fan, awesome fan block, which is our unit of structure, which we have tied to the state machine that you're seeing here. The state machine is the classifying behavior of the awesome fan. And you can look that up classifying behavior, oscillating fan, state machine. And then you can look into the oscillating fan states in more detail in the containment tree and they will mimic this diagram. Uh, to get started, we will show the simulation, which we can run from here. And what we can do is we can put them side by side, the state machine and the automatic sequence diagram and now we can start uh, having some user input so first we'll plug it in plug in you see that the user plugged it in with that message or that signal that was sent which triggered the unpowered to powered state and also this is zero and oscillate now we can go ahead and uh, change it from oscillate to static so we did that now we'll go ahead and change it from zero to one using the low speed signal, and then medium speed, and then high speed. So you can see that it creates this automatic sequence diagram for us, and that's super cool. Additionally, for this example, we've got it creating RPM and uh, state charts, so that is another cool feature. So as you can uh, change the signals and change the state, you'll see the um, graphs follow. All right. So the next question you might ask is where is the sequence diagram saved within the model? And to figure that out, you'll just go to the top level where uh, top level package for your model, and you'll be at that level, and it will default to saving a new block with the date timestamp, and then you can jump into that, and you'll see your sequence diagram. So going back to the oscillating fan package, we can look into the simulation configuration diagram. And we have made three things, the timeline chart, the time series chart, and the sequence diagram generator config. And we have dragged and dropped uh, all three of those onto our simulation config. So you can see a time series, timeline, and sequence diagram generator. Um, We'll at the end show how to create this example, but uh, for now, we'll leave it here. Moving back to our oscillating fan example, if I were to just run this with context, which means I'm running it with the block, I see that I have the block here and I run it. And I don't want to fool with creating a simulation configuration, but I still want it to create this auto sequence diagram. What I can do is I can just uh, right click on the block itself within my variables tab and then I go to create sequence diagram and that will allow you to create a sequence diagram without having to build out this uh, simulation configuration diagram so now I can do what I did at the very beginning and start plugging it in and uh, manipulating the state machine and it will it will uh, create it uh, accordingly Additionally, just like you can make a sequence diagram quickly without the simulation configuration, you can do the same with the time series chart. So you right click the awesome fan block within your variables tab and go to show timeline chart and state. Popped it over to my other screen, so here's what it looks like. I can also go down here to the RPM and then say show in time series chart. Popped it to the other screen, but here it is. And now we can uh, manipulate the uh, state machine. And you see it works the exact same. So now to show how to create this 
awesome fan simulation, the simulation configuration diagram with all of the uh, contents. We're just going to go ahead and delete all of these items and make them from scratch. So we're still going to keep the awesome fan and the oscillating fan uh, behavior and structure. So we'll just start with this. So we right click here, go to create diagram. You can scroll down to simulation and you'll see the simulation configuration diagram. You select that and then we'll just name it. We'll name it uh, and, and notice we don't have anything up here. And so when we name it, it's going to add that to the top drop down. So awesome fan sim. And there it is at the top. So now we'll go ahead and add our time series chart right there. We will add our uh, timeline chart, which is going to be right here. And then we'll add our sequence diagram generator. And now we'll just name them. And now we're going to add the RPM value property to the RPM chart. And we're going to now drag the RPM chart to the awesome fan sim. We're going to drag the timeline chart to the awesome fan sim. And we're going to drag the auto sequence to the awesome fan sim. And then we're going to drag the awesome fan block to the awesome fan sim to give it an, an execution target. We also need to drag awesome fan block to the RPM chart to give it some context. And now we should be able to run it. So now we see our RPM, our state machine uh, chart, as well as our sequence and we can show that it works by plugging it in and low speed, medium speed, high speed. So some final thoughts. We have the all these settings that you can look at. Notice that time is in milliseconds. Uh, also notice that the animation speed is at 95. If you bump it up to 100, you won't actually see the animations. So I would recommend keeping it at 95 or less. Uh, additionally, you have the time variable name of sim time. That's actually a variable within Cameo. So if I were to rerun this, I can then go to settings and then the show simulation time. You'll see four, five, six at counting up. And then I can go to my console and just write sim time. And you'll see my sim time is in milliseconds. So it, it uh, I'll do it again. Oh. There we go. So that was at 25 seconds that I hit enter on the sim time. You can watch our internal block diagram video for another example of an automatic sequence diagram. You can also watch our state machine diagram video to show some more examples of state machines as well as this oscillating fan example.